Hey everybody, James Yeager with Satchel Response. Thanks for watching. I have a slight speech impediment caused by tongue numbness. The doctors are working through it. Please excuse me for it. It's 1022. So most everybody's got one of these laying around. And while it might not be the first gun we pick, nobody wants a chest full of 22s, that's for sure. Uh, but this might be what you have. Or maybe you have a, a, a young person in your family that this is their gun. Or maybe you have... A, uh, elderly uh, parent that this is their gun. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, people want to buy like a revolver for an 80 year old woman. I'm telling you, a 1022 with a red dot and a 25 round stick in it, like that's a lot of hate. And it's very light, very easy to shoot, even if you're just point shooting at that long barrel. Not a horrible home defense gun, I promise, for somebody that's not very strong. But these are the takedown 1022s to come apart, go in backpack or what have you. And these belong to my grandkids. Uh, this one, this one, this one's Bane's. This one has a, they both have a hollow sun red dot on them. Uh, they both are set up for a bipod. Uh, a bipod, red dot, have a little kid lay down to shoot. Perfect kid's gun. All my grandkids have these. This is another one. This just has a camel pattern, black, again with a hollow sun. And we're going to just do some shoot, move, communicate drills with the Ruger 1022s. All right, guys, so we're, we're here with the 1022s. We're going to do this bounding drill. You've seen us do this before. Nothing new here. They're using the BX25 Ruger mags. I suggest if you get high cap or extended capacity magazines for your Ruger, they be the Ruger brand mags. Uh, the I've not had luck with any aftermarket 1022 mag. Fight! Contact front! Somebody shoot! Somebody shoot! Somebody shoot! Okay. Moving! Move! <laughs> I gotta be honest. Oh, I, don't know I, I zeroed these rockets. Move! <laughs> I think I think Lewis is zero. <laughs> or just coincides with his trigger jerk. Tell me you're moving. Keep going. What the fuck are you waiting for, Lewis? Moving! Move! <laughs> I'm just trying to add some pressure to the guys here. This is old hat for them, so I'm just trying to add a little bit of, little bit of pressure. Let's go! <laughs> Cover! Just when I said the magazines are reliable, start having problems. Moving! Move! So Lewis is taking an unfair hop. <laughs> Moving! Cover! Why don't you try a different mag? Give it two or three real fast. Yep. Get your you got, you got you got dummies in your I mean <laughs> practice ammo in your gun? No. Yep. Get, get, get your handgun out. Tell them to move. Move! Moving! Keep moving! Keep moving! Keep moving! Moving! Move! Okay, cease fire, hold what you got. Cease fire, hold what you got. Okay, so... The, the the rifle that he was shooting it's got some problem um it's never even been broken uh so the thing is the the tactic is we want a rifle in the fight so even though there's a pistol up here making noise pistols are not fight stopping tools so what i want him to do is get that pistol out and i want this rifle up here as quick as you can you can say whatever you want 
I'd rather take a shot 50 yards with a 1022 the red dot as I would a pistol, okay? And so uh, we want to get a rifle in the fight. Even if it's a 22 rifle, the pistol is a, is a horrible secondary. All right, guys, another run with 1022s this time. Other than the magazine issue, just, just another semi-automatic rifle. I mean, right? It's a lot like an AK. <laughs> yeah, it, the, it, 1022 is a lot like AK, charging handle on the other side and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so the uh, these guns are, um, we don't know. I mean, it's a fucking 22, I don't know. I wouldn't want to fight with a, t a 22 because they're so finicky about stuff, but 1022 is the best of the breed. I stand by the BX. Uh, magazines being the best mags so, there's something going on with this gun uh, I don't know what what's going on exactly it looks like the magazine is like over inserting or something like that you got another mag even though we tried two mags with it earlier oh shit you guys Uh, it's, I don't know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a 22, I don't know, uh, but uh, anyway, they're good guns. You guys have any, uh, anything you want to say about fighting with a 22? No, I mean, I think it's, it's super easy to manage, even shooting off my off shoulder. Um, so like you said earlier, someone that's smaller or not that strong like yep. great rifle for them I, to have i also think it's going to be kind of like the militia man's rifle because like everybody's got a 22 rifle and let me throw this on you how many guns can you easily carry 2,000 rounds of ammo for with you yeah. <laughs> so i mean i'm not telling everybody to go out and get 22s to fight with but i'm telling you you could do worse from, worse from a uh, just a standpoint of uh, supply and th things like that. Just, yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't want to get stung by a yellow jacket. Mm. <laughs> you know, that's what those things are, really. Uh, all right, thanks. So thank you again, Brian Lewis, for another video on how to fight with something. This is James Jagger with Tats Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends. <laughs>